There was some exciting news for all GameMaker users last month, with YoYo Games announcing they are removing the 30-day trial period from GameMaker Studio 2. This limitation meant previously new users had to decide within 30 days whether the software was worth their hard-earned cash, or else they were locked out. Now there are still some limitations. You can only run your game for within the game maker's IDE. That is, you can't export a standalone EXE of your own game. You also can't build using YYC, which is the higher performance compiler. And you also must be using the latest version. So for those users sick of creating a new email account and signing up to the trial again each month, this is great news. But if you're a regular GMS2 user, it's also great news. It means GameMaker's potential user base can now grow unimpeded by this limitation. More users means more content by tutorial makers and more games made for the platform. Now, longtime followers may remember a time when the trial version was limited by the number of things you could do with it. I actually built parts of my GameMaker platformer course around these limitations and catered for them so trial version users wouldn't miss out. Then after YoYo games were purchased by Playtech, they removed this limitation and they made the trial version 30 days only. Many game maker educators were upset by this change, complaining the influx of new users, essentially what dictates the cash flow in between major versions, would decline. The change was implemented and basically I removed my trial content and could no longer cater for students who struggled to pay the full price of the product. Overall, I'd imagine game maker sales would have felt this impact as well. But now, with Opera purchasing YoYo Games, things are definitely looking up as this change seems extremely positive going forward. Now, Opera makes its millions via advertising within its software, as well as any ad hoc searches within the browser using engine giant Google. Is it feasible we may see some sort of advertising from game publishers within GameMaker's engine for trial users? It does seem like a natural fit for the product, and it's a revenue stream Opera is used to dealing with. If having a side pop-up advertising the latest Call of Duty while using your completely free trial version is the worst of it, it's probably not too bad. You want to sell your new pixel art platform game but don't know how to advertise it? Well, I think I know the perfect audience to show it to. Of course, I'm speculating on the future, but for now this trial version move is definitely a positive step for the community. They have even solidified the new change by announcing a new game jam where you can come up with the game that the new browser Opera GX will incorporate into its engine. In order to sweeten the deal, they're offering $20,000 in prizes. Sure, it's a great offer, but you might think, I can't compete with everyone else's amazing entries. Well, it's a jam where if you've ever seen Google's own Dino-based browser game, you'll know that it's not all about good graphics, but they want something fun to play to drop into their browser. So with GameMaker now being essentially free to use, all of these changes have been extremely positive for the GameMaker community. I can't wait to see what this new expanded community is able to make in the future. Let me know in the comments if this type of video is something you're interested in, and also be sure to tell YouTube analytics about it by hovering the cursor over the thumb and lowering your left index finger on your input device. Uh, actually, just press the like button. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you in the next one.